We're all good to go? Mm-hmm. You just had to nod your head. You're not dead. Thank you. Leave her alone. <laughs> Sorry, people. Um, Dang. What am I going to say? Do you have anything you want to say? Because mm-hmm. I got a whole speech to say. Go crazy. Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast. Episode number 52. People, we made it one year around of straight potting every single... I was going to say day. Every single week. I was thinking of doing a podcast every day. Well, that's crazy, crazy. <laughs> that's not that's not realistic not at all oh man 52 episodes so that's 52 weeks out of the year i ain't never miss a week too i think i no, i think i miss one i miss one sunday i either posted it on a wednesday it was that day i had a mental breakdown <laughs> you probably missed like two because at the beginning you had like a hundred mental breakdowns because no of i had that one i had all right people See, let me let me first let me let me shout out all the channels. Thank if you have if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm your host, DW Darius. Your other host, this is Jay. If y'all y'all should already know by now. She's been on here quite some time. Everybody been hating on her. It's okay though. What would we say to those people? I don't know what we say. Suck a Frank. Suck a Frank. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> But if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. We're almost at 200,000 followers. I think we're at 198.9. It's slowly going up. I don't know. It happens. It happens. Follow. Oh, follow our new page for our merchandise, for new content, new uh, new content updates on the merch. It's at No Regulars Apparel. And by now... It's time, people. Hold on. Let me let me show you. It might be a Finally. little. Finally. It might be a. It might be a little wrinkled, but <laughs> the merch is finally out. By the time you guys watch this video, the merch is dropping on Friday, nine September second. The website's gonna be up. Everything's gonna be good. I've been. It's been a long time. You are gonna drop the merch while we're in spooky nook? Okay, that's alright. You are gonna be stressed out? Why? I don't know. I just know you. I don't. I don't need to do nothing. As long as I just have the website up and then the stuff comes in. When I'm going to come back to the next video and I'm going to tell you how he was stressed out. You should swear I'm stressed out. But it's just, it's just I be, it's just got to think. But um, yeah, merchandise will be out. Noregulars.com will be in the link in the bio because it'll be out on Friday. So all that stuff. Uh, What I said? Oh, limit, there's a limited to, limited supply. So it's only going to be up. The site's going to be up for a week. Nothing too crazy because I don't want I don't want to have it up for too long because then the next drop is coming in. So stay tuned for that. Follow the TikTok at No Regulars Apparel. Follow us on Instagram at No Regs Podcast. Follow the Instagram for the apparel at No Regulars Apparel again on Instagram. Follow us on all podcasting platforms at No Regulars Podcast on Apple Apple Podcast, Spotify, and Google Podcast. Uh, am I forgetting anything? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe down below. Uh, what's it called? Subscribe down below. Like folding. Can I finish? <laughs> you already know I'm nervous. I got a speech to talk about. Um, subscribe down to subscribe down below. Like, share, all that good stuff. And thank y'all again for 52 and one years worth of podcast. I never thought, I never thought I'd make it all the way over here. I just want to say, I feel like I'm at like Academy Award. So I just want to say thanks. Thank you to Jay for always being behind the camera, being on the show, showing her personality, of course, of for course. keeping me sane, you know, through the hard times. People, y'all don't even know. The first episode we ever did, we remade that shit. Do you remember? There was that? a lot of episodes that we had to remake. Probably like three or two. No, it was, it was like, it was only two. Mm. Well, I only, I only remade the. <laughs> he was like three or two. I maybe. said three or two. You should, you should say two or three. <laughs> it was, um,. The first episode we made, I was like, "Nah, this jungle looked mad weird." I, I, it was so awkward. That was when I realized, like, you know, when you like when you listen to yourself, it's like kind of weird. That's when I realized that. So I was just like, "Eh." So I did that one over again. And then, if y'all don't know, when Tyrone and UJ was on, I forgot what episode. I think it was like twenty four. Like my video was all blurry, so I had to do that one all over again because and Jay was, was here. Oh yeah, you know I'm the best. Yeah. But and there was times where the phone died. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the phone died a couple of times, but I, I still made the episode though. It just DJ's was like in three parts. I, I only made it in three parts because I didn't feel like like combining it together and it looked mm-hmm. kind of weird. So I was just like, "F it." But yeah, man, we came a long way. I never would have thought I made it a year, and 
I never would have thought we had this many followers. I never thought people would really like this for real. I just want to thank y'all. Thank you again. You know, I love you and all that stuff. Thank you for always oh. being there and always, like I said, keeping me saying all that stuff. Shout out to my guys. Shout out to the guys that be on the show with me. If y'all, do, y'all should already know them, man. If it was, thank y'all for, you know, being part of the journey, all that stuff and helping me. Without without all you guys, I don't think we would have made this far. Because I, I always talk about, they always be saying like, when can I get on your podcast? When can I get, nah, it's not my podcast. It's our podcast. You know what I'm saying? And the, anybody you see on this podcast, anybody you see on this camera, you know they always got a special place in my heart. Everybody asking to get on the podcast, but it's not. It's I don't know. It's just I'm not that type of guy where I got. I'm interviewing everybody. It's not interviews. You know, it's just normal conversation mm-hmm. that we have. I talk. This is how I talk to them on a daily basis. So if whoever you see on this podcast, just know they family. If you're not on this podcast, you know what it is. <laughs> chill, chill. Still love you, still love you though. But the people on this podcast, you know, they got a special place in my heart. Shout out to my mom, my mom, my dad, Libby, all y'all. My mom's listening to us right now. She's gonna be so happy. She's like, oh, <laughs> Thank you, because you don't even know how much I hope because I'm broke. So, <laughs> so it'd be it's expensive to do all that stuff. But um, your shout, dad for letting you. I know for my shout out my dad for letting me use his phone all the times. Dang, he used to hate me, but look where we at, man. 52, 200,000. I told you it was going to work out. And we making clothes. I always wanted to make a clothing brand. I remember I, w- I was going to call it The Better Days. Then somebody took my shit. That is fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I you seen, had hella names. Yeah. I, it was like The Better Days. And I seen somebody freaking, I'm going to put a picture of Shea Gilders Alexander wearing, wearing a Better Days hoodie that I wanted to make. Blew my shit. I was like, all right. But, oh, shout out, thank y'all to the people that watch. And that DM me every day, like all the content, follow us, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts because, you know, we made it a long way. It's just, it was a long process. Like, when I tell y'all people, it's a lot of work. I, if, if I inspired you, you know, I don't want to inspire people because, you know, at the end of the day, what my words can mean a lot, but it's what you guys do at the end of the day to help you get to where you guys want to be. It's a lot of, if you want to make a podcast, go ahead. It's not that hard, but it's a lot of, oh, that's something I thought someone was coming to do. It's a lot of hard work, people. A lot of hours, a lot of time, but you know, it was worth it. You know what I'm saying? It was all worth that then. <sighs> I still got to edit a podcast coming up after episode 51. should be up right now. But yeah, shout out to everybody that's been enjoying the content. Shout out to everybody that be watching, that be listening to us. Shout out to everybody that be listening to us, watching all that stuff. I don't want to keep going, keep blabbering all that, but y'all really mean a lot, mean the world to us. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I really never thought. You know, people people be DM me all the time in the comments. Shout out to y'all that be DM me all the time because I always read all y'all DMs. Y'all y'all good peoples in the world. That y'all that call us still don't know who you are from Alabama. <laughs> that call Tyrone. Shout out to you though. But yeah, man. <sighs> One year of pods. We got a good show for y'all. We got we got uh what we got we got conspiracies. We got all the would you rather you could think of. We got we got I got a new urban legend. I haven't done that in a while. Mm. So I, I got some good stuff. From to where? T- it's, a, it's a surprise. All right. But first, I want to talk about is what Jay told me earlier. After this, no more of that mumbo jumbo. Jay told me something. If y'all don't know, we live in New Jersey, and Jay loves roller coasters. <laughs> Jay loves roller coasters. When I tell you this girl loves roller coasters. So recently in Six Flags, and there was a ride malfunction, and five people got hurt. Jay, hospitalized. Hospital, hospitalized. That still hurt. Jay still wants to go on roller coasters, people. I See, I don't want to... I was not the roller coaster type of person until I met Jay. I'm not going to lie. She be calling me pussy. No, I don't. It's, you be testing my gangster. No, for King the Car, I was going to go on by myself. Yeah, but it's like... It's like, oh, you did that on purpose because, you know, I'm going to be like, oh. If I don't know, if I want to go on a ride and you don't want to go with me, you're not going to stop me from getting on the ride I want to go on. But that, was, that made me like, oh, you look, your boyfriend pussy over there. Look at him watching <laughs> y'all. I was, oh, my God. When I went out, King the Car, bro, don't. That's not fun. It, it King the Car is like seven seconds long. What's so fun? Okay, so what's so fun about that? You go up and you go down. It's like the rush in your body. Like, whoof. Hell no, I don't like I be feeling like I'm gonna die. I swear, every time I go on them rides, but I be feeling like I'm about to pee myself every single time. I be like and I be using the bathroom all the time. I be thinking I have to use a bath, I have to pee. Oh you be my. cursing me out on the ride. Cause I be so I don't even know what to say, bro. Oh my god, we went on Zoom and Jaro never again, bro. 
I that's that's one right I'll never go on ever again in my life. Even if I said we're not gonna get married, why are you gonna do that to me? <laughs> that was the highest ride I ever been on in my life. No, that's the ride you were cursing me out on, right? No, or was I, it? Um, it was both. It was. It was. Yeah, it was both. It was, it was both. so bad. It's every ride we go on. Yeah, but so in Six Flags, uh, I think El Toro malfunctioned or something like that. People got went to the hospital. They said their backs was hurting, and Jay's like, you know, I'm not. She because we supposed to go to we supposed to go to um what's it called we supposed to go to Six Flags in a couple in a couple of days. And she was like, oh, I'm not going to go on. She said, the, the the safe rides, I'm not going on. I said, huh? She was like, I want to go on the, the big ones. I'm like, after all this happened, after the, the people going to the hospital, she's like, no, I'm still going on the big ones. No. Nitro is not bad. That shit is, okay, it's not that bad, but the, the, the suspense be killing me. <laughs> El Toro, it was bound to happen. There's been injuries on that ride even before this time. Because it's like, it's a jerks. It's a wooden ride. Like, come on now. It's bound to happen. That's why I'm not riding that shit. That's a fun ride too. Why is I'll it still th- go on? Why it. why is it so fun? Just the thrill of it? Yes, the thrill, like, I don't know. It brings something in my body that like is not there all the time. It's just fun. Like you only live once. You gotta do fun things. Like what do you wanna be? The person who just watches like my dad? He just watches oh, no, I, the rides. I, no, but I've done them before. So that doesn't mean I it's not like I never tried. I did try. Yeah, but <laughs> You're still going to be that person. <laughs> no, because them people never tried it. No, I my did. dad tried roller coasters before. He just doesn't go on a lot of them. Why? Because he's scared. How do you, then what, why do you go the first time? Did we make him? See, look, he's smart. That's why. No, I mean, I guess. He's smart. See, I can't go on, I can't go on all those, uh, none of those carnival rides out of respect to my brother that died. Can't go on none of them. Which one? The one that the guy that fell off the thing. Oh. Out of respect to him, I can't go on that no more. That was bad, though. And to respect to Kobe, I can't go on a helicopter either. Out of respect to Kobe, I can't go on a helicopter. That's messed up. What? What if I want to go on a helicopter date? What if I want to see the New York? Why do you want to see New York like that? Because that's so pretty at night. See New York fly over New York. We see New York every day. Yeah, but you're flying over it. You're looking down on people. We're going to be those people. We're going to (laughs) crash. Hell no. Like, like, ugh. And I want to jump off a plane. I'm definitely doing that before I die. Mm. Would you jump you off You don't a, have to go with me. Would you, would you bungee jump off the Empire State Building? I'm not bungee jumping. <laughs> I'm never bungee jumping. That's some psycho stuff. I feel like bungee jumping is going to give me the most whiplash I ever had in my life. But, like, I don't know how it is. it by your feet? Yes. Oh, it is by your feet. They connect. Your feet together with like straps and then just push you down or wow. you jump down. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I seen, I think I seen, I asked that because I seen, I think the world's tallest bungee jump. He jumped off like, I think either the tallest building in Japan or the tallest building in the world. And that motherfucker was, that man was falling for like a good five minutes before, well, before I said five minutes, a good like seven seconds before the thing like snapped up. Just imagine. I'm not going to lie. At that moment, I think I would like die. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one today. It was a girl. She was bunny jumping and they had it. She had it connected to her like a rope yeah. and like the regular thing on her feet. And they were cutting the rope like slowly. Pretending? Wait. No, they- no, no. They were actually cutting the rope because she her feet are still connected. They were just cutting the rope because she was leaning back. Oh. So she could like just fall. So they started cutting the rope and it was slow. And she was like, are you guys going to do it anytime soon? And they did it. She was falling and there was rocks under her. I will hit a rock. That's what I'm saying. I'm like my luck. Something's not gonna be tied right. I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna no. do like bungee jumping in like Panama, and the guys that's like tying me down gonna be drunk as hell. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna secure me and correctly. The, peop- the people who fake it, when you go down and they're like, wait, 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 I will, I will go back up and fight them. I'm not even joking. That's not funny. That's not at all. Like, and I know a bunch of those people are like that because I would be like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> people can have a guys. heart attack going down thinking they're gonna die. I know. Oh, low key. I think they they probably do tell them not to do that. That's crazy. Because like, oh my, like I would like, see, like I would at that point, I would do parachute, like I would jump out of plane because at least I have somebody with me. <laughs> you so, gonna die with somebody? No, nah, because at least I got a trained professional. But if like he, if he, if I feel like panicking, I'm be like, oh nah, this deed is done up for It'd me. It'd probably be like if you die from there, it'd probably be like first instinct, like you won't feel it. What if I don't? What if I do feel it still? You're what if I live? <laughs> You're not gonna live from that. You jumping from so high to just concrete. What if I land in the ocean? That's just like concrete. I know. 
Oh my god! Do you think they have safety like procedures just in case know, like, like that happens? What if some like the parachute don't come out? Like, do they have like safety precaution? Do they practice? They have to. <laughs> no, they don't practice. I mean, they don't practice. <laughs> <laughs> no, they but don't. They, pra- but they probably. I don't know. I don't know. They should have like a second parachute just in case the first one don't come out. <sighs> they probably. I think. It, I don't know. There's some shit like that. Like, I think. Okay, that would be nice. Like parachuting, like. Uh, but you can't parachute by the city, right? You got to be in like an open area because you got to yeah. hit a building. That would be crazy. Would you do um a hot air balloon? I Over Africa. <laughs> Why Africa? Because it looks so pretty. Just imagine, cause I seen I seen uh there's people in Africa they did it and they they seen like a bunch of like lions and stuff and giraffes. Oh, that's cool, yeah. So like, that was giraffes. cool. I'll do that. A hot air balloon is dangerous though. What if that fire go out? It's all right. They don't got seatbelts on that thing. You're just going to free fall. And I know. It's going out slowly, I mean, though. Yeah, it's kind of... I don't know. I do that. You do. I don't trust hot air balloons. But you trust a parachute? Yeah. You know how I many parachutes probably never went off? <laughs> Hell no, bro. But, you know... You know, um, you ever heard of the... I think I was talking about this in one of the podcasts. I think with Jason. But I didn't really, like, get in depth about it. You know, Saudi Arabia is making three new futuristic cities? Like, like, type... Like, the Jetsons type of thing. What the hell? Like, like, let me let me explain. So, there's three cities, right? One mm-hmm. of them is called the Line. So, it's basically a a glass wall. It's like it's like a city in between, like a glass structure. So, the thing is like I think it's like 500 meters high, and it's long. Like it's like seven 170 kilometers. I don't know how many that is in miles, but so everything is in like 3D, like where you live at, and like so. I guess when you if you walk from one end to the other, it takes 40 hours. But they have a certain, there's like technology and AI, th- AI technology and other like vehicles that will allow, it's like a train. It will take you from one end to the other in like 20 minutes. And then everything that you need, like your work, recreation, food, things like that is going to be like five minutes walking distance. Cause there's good, it's like sectioned off. Like there's different like neighborhoods. That's tough. I know. And it's like, everything's going to be AI powered and shit like that. There's going to be like flying things. It's going to look like the future, future. I'm going to move there. I don't. This kind of scares me though. I'm like, that's that's kind. I don't that's know. kind of cool. Cause that's just one step to like a robot apocalypse. <laughs> the next that's step, true. and then there's another one. It's called Tro Trojina. It's in the mountains. So it's like you know how mountains have grooves in it. Mm-hmm. So they built it in the mountains, and there's like different biomes. So like there's one side they make, they're making a ski resort. So on one side you can ski, and then there's gonna be a lake in the middle, and you could live on the lake. So you could pick. You can either live not on the lake, but like by the lake. Mm-hmm like a luxury lake or you could live on the other side so it's like so one side here is the lake and it's like inside the mountain and on the other side is the mountain face and you could live on the mountain and it's like it's like houses that's like built into the cliffs and it's like you can see the stars at night oh, it's so no. nice Mm-mm. and then the last one it's like called the octagon and it's like a it's a city that's gonna be built on the water it's gonna be like a floating city and everything's gonna be like uh and like what's that called uh clean energy Mm, I'll do the first one. You do the first one, right? That's, that's, but like, nah, living in the mountain would be nice. Yeah, but they're like hanging from the cliff. like Yeah, something like that. No. Nah. Yeah, I know. It is kind of scary, but like. I saw, <sighs> that was on Airbnb. What, a, like it, a cliff? N- like it was like they were on a mountain, but the house was like on the mountain. Oh, I know what you mean. Like it was like built like. Yeah, and they had to pee down the. Pee? Oh, yeah. I think you showed me that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I would, the only thing like if, if like <laughs> like God forbid there's like a like a mudslide or like an earthquake is didn't done up your shit just Rock dropping. Come down is deep. But the first city like just imagine they said they're gonna build they're gonna start I think it's gonna take maybe like ten years to build I don't know for sure, but like everything is I think the, the like the the distance is like a mile not no no maybe smaller than that like it's really like skinny like it looks like a wall like a line, and it's really like you could really just walk anywhere. That's tough though. That's what that I'm seems s- cool. That's what I'm saying. It's like the Jetsons. Like everything's like stacked up on top of each other type shit. So it's not like it's like it's not it's not really like clustered, but mm-hmm. it's just like the way it is. It's like convenient to walk around. But but that makes me think, right? So do you? So so do you, so I was thinking, right? Since like the technology that they're telling us from that city, it seems like they had that technology for mad long because mm-hmm. it's like. Like, right now, we have... The, the only good thing we have is, like, Teslas, right? Like, self-driving cars. Uh-huh. 
now we're going on to cities where everything's like five minutes away and like freaking like it's in a little line, right? So what if so what if like they're hiding all those technologies from us to like either test them out for themselves or we're not ready for it? Like what if like you know people say they see UFOs? What if that's actually like humans test driving new like inventions they made? Mm. And like maybe some be maybe aliens, but maybe some of them is just us that we like copied it. I feel that. I feel that. I think they're they don't want to bring it out yet just because they think we're not ready for it. Or like they're trying to test it out first. Mm-hmm. I think they have a lot of stuff in store. That's what I'm saying. And like I, in nineteen fifty one they made they, they signed like a treaty, like the United States, that any invention that they deemed that's that's like security for that would harm us like security purposes like say they make an invention that they don't want to show us yet they don't have to like give it out to the public like like there was a i guess a guy made a water power car things like that uh the test when nikola tesla made the tesla coil it's, like, it's supposed to be something that's like generates energy from the atmosphere so it's not like you plug something into the wall it, uh, it's not like um oil and shit like that and they say the reason why they're hiding it from us it's either it's because like they're they're saying it's because it's gonna protect the economy, cause you know you know who's the most the most powerful people in the world, Mm-mm. the people that run the oil companies. Bec- Why? Because those are the people that power everything that we have. And like, say we don't have we don't need them no more. Then it's like, they have like the most money, cause like you know gas prices. So say we don't need oil no more, then it's like, damn, all them people is gonna be out of business. All the miners, all the oilers, all the people with the gas, they're gonna be out of business. But it's like we can. F- figure out a way around that shit but i think the oil people they have a lot of power with shit like that just like how back in the days with the um like cigarette companies when when people found out cigarettes were like um bad for you like the all the cigarette companies started like making these new campaigns and just like making 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 it seem making making it seem like cigarettes are really good for you but they're really not it's like those people control parts of the economy because without oil and shit then shit goes left and then i also think because i remember i was reading there was like some new documents that they made that they said that they started making like anti-gravity freaking uh ships freaking like shit like spaceships and like i remember i think i told you before like in the denver airport they said they had like little bullet trains that are like anti-gravity so maybe they are hiding some shit because they don't want us to freaking um maybe we're not ready to have that or they just don't want to speed up everything i think too that if they start bringing in like let's say they start bringing in robots and stuff they're gonna be doing everything for us yeah and we're not everybody's gonna be unemployed how we're gonna make money Mm -hmm. so like that too. oh okay yeah that does make sense so like so maybe it does help the economy a little Mm -hmm. bit but i also feel like you ever you remember when you remember you watch wally right yeah like you know how they were in wally where everything was done for them they all became fat like what if that happened to us (laughs) Cause like imagine we won't have to do nothing. But How we gonna make money? How we gonna eat? That's what I'm. Ah, they was eating good up there. But only the rich people gonna eat. I know only the rich people that was up there, and it's like, it's like I mean I I feel like a lot of the technologies that they give us like Tesla cars like the the man like the um self driving cars I feel like they made that maybe like fifty years ago. Because I feel like once you make, like, say they make something that's groundbreaking, I don't think they're going to give it out to the public because they want to use it for themselves. Like, use it to the best of their abilities. Like, say they have, say they make, like, a self-driving cars, right? Mm-hmm. Like, in the 1950s. They probably won't give it to the public because they don't want, like, they're going to use it. I feel like they'll use it for, like, the government, like, the uh, the military and shit like that. Yeah. So, like, say they'll, because, like, if you put it out to the public then like their enemies might be able to use that type of shit against them. So they, I feel like they would use that to the best of their ability, like use it as much as they can until they realize, until they know it's like, okay, this is safe enough. And like, if this goes into the wrong hands, it's not going to harm us or harm the world and shit like that. So they, they it's like, they test it out, but they test it out for years. Like, I think like, um, like Apple watches, mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like shit like that. I feel like they had that for a minute. Uh, I don't know. You don't think so? You think you think like they made Tesla cars like like ten years ago? It's hard, cause like they could have. We don't know what happened in history. Like these history books fake. Yeah. So it could have been flying cars in history, and they just stopped it, and then 
like their re not flying cars um tesla cars in mm-hmm. history and they stopped it and now they're just giving it out again like they're recycling things oh just like just like when they they recycle shoes there's shoes that came out in the past past and they're just now bringing them back up oh that's kind of that's kind of smart like they um like they make it seem like it's original type mm-hmm. shit oh i haven't even thought of it like that because <laughs> because like they also say like they think that our society back in the days was like very advanced than it is now mm-hmm. so maybe they don't want to they're hiding all the technology that they do so it's so it's not like because like maybe it because some people do believe that back in the days our society was like well beyond like what it is now but maybe they don't tell us that because like if we knew that then we'll be like expecting like more More. shit like that to happen Mm -hmm. like we'll be expecting like like um self-powering cars and flying cars and shit like that if we knew we had it but like since we don't know we had it then once they come out it's be like oh this shit like they're gonna want it even more Mm -hmm. oh that's kind of smart you you know what I think uh, you know what I think think was since we're talking about that shit you know what I think about like the pyramids and stuff what remember I think you know how they say the pyramids is like tombs yeah I feel like the pyramids is actually like like before they were tombs there was like power plants for something because like you know there's pyramids in like like everywhere like there's pyramids not in, there's pyramids in Mexico there's pyramids in Ja- in Japan, there's they found pyramids in Antarctica. There's a pyramid at the bottom. Antarctica. Bo- yeah, there's a pyramid in the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I could believe that. So it's like, so it's like, why? It's like, so say supposedly these things was made by the Egyptians. They was building. There was oh, a thousand people would bring a brick, brick by brick, and cap, cap <laughs> up, up the thing. And supposedly they didn't have no technology, but somehow, some way all these people across the globe have pyramids Mm -hmm. and like they don't have technology. So you're telling me like they scattered across the globe and made pyramids by themselves. Yeah. I don't don't think so. Like, I think back in the, like they say back in the days, like they believe that giants were real because they say that God, like, and I think in the Bible it said God banished some angels down to earth because they were teaching people in heaven, things that God didn't want them to teach. Mm -hmm. So they came down here and like made kids with the, with the women down here and they made giants and those were the people who made like the pyramids because those people like they taught the humans like the things that they weren't supposed to teach in heaven and the re- and once God found out that's why you know they said the flood happened with Noah's ark they said yeah. God did that to wipe out the giants because they were teaching the humans the things that he didn't want, he didn't want. and after all that apocalypse shit happened that's when the the new civilizations came out and used those now pyramids that's like all fuck messed up they use them as tombs now that was all cap well i want to know what's real <laughs> you never know i don't know like i think maybe like with the pier i know with the pyramids i don't think nobody no human like this <laughs> like this manually move that shit up Mm-mm. because i don't I- care how many it took Cause just imagine if they misplace one brick, they gotta start all over. You they know had what I mean? Cranes back then. Hell no, they, they guys. They had. I don't know who they had helping them, but fuck that. And it's like, it's like imagine it took. I think it would take take them like thirty. If it, if by the method they they were saying it would take them thirty years to build one pyramid, you think they had time for thirty years? Mm-mm. And you think they never messed up, like messed up, like put one brick. Exactly. Like I be t- like my dad was saying, he was like, bro, you don't you don't know back then, like it's not like how it is now where like we have a lot of things that could keep us um occupied. Them people all they did was just build the pyramids. Like, no, no nobody no no slave will go out there and just continuously build pyramids for thirty years of their lives. I don't know. What do you what do you think? You think aliens did it? Aliens? I don't know who did it, but it wasn't no people. <laughs> Cause you know we can't even build that today, even if we try. Exactly. So, with, with all the stuff we have, we have cranes, we have everything to build stuff. We could build a big building, but we can't build a pyramid. That's what I'm saying. Cap, it's all cap. <sighs> we're here, people. We're we're your voices. We don't. Be- <laughs> I mean, I do believe, but I mean, I don't believe what the people be telling me. I don't believe what the history books. Some of the stuff in the history books, because if I don't believe in everything, then I'm gonna start going down a rabbit hole. I'll never get out of. <laughs> I be realizing that. I be catching myself because I be I be uh, questioning everything in life sometimes. 
but I don't believe in the history books. Some of at them, all. I think, I feel like some parts of history is like rewritten or not. What's the word? It's not portrayed how it actually happened at all. How are you telling me somebody who's still living right now is writing history books <laughs> from back then? You didn't even live through it. That's what I'm saying. It's like you like like say uh, say it's the 1970s, right? Or say it's like it's 1870 right now. And we're 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 doing something, and we're writing something completely different. Mm-hmm. Like what the hell? Like how do you go believe that? You believe paper? Mm-hmm. The only way you believe is if you go back in time. And I know y'all know how to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a would you rather question? <clears throat> let me hear it. So, now actually, let me let me do this first. Since we were talking about the end of the world and apocalypse, can we survive these post-apocalyptic worlds? Because I did apocalypse before, so this is. When the apocalypse happens, so this is after. Mm-hmm. So the first one is imagine, like, say there's like a big flood and the world is all flooded and there's water mostly. Water is like 90% of the world. So most of the cities are underwater. Can we survive that? Yeah, you think we will survive, me and you? Mm. I don't know because we're not going to have much food. The only thing we're going to have is like fishing. Probably, but that's and imagine where the fish is gonna be. It's a whole thing underwater. I don't well, think so. I don't even know where the fuck we gonna live. We gonna live on boats. Cause I remember there was a there was a movie that came. There was a movie I used to watch. It's called Waterworld, and it was something like that. It was like the apocalypse happened, and they all lived on water, but they made like you know like oil rig type of things. Like you know, in the middle of the oceans, they have like little platforms. Mm-hmm. They made things like that, and that's where the cities were. But it was like mm-hmm. very like dirty. Like every it was like they just built it like yesterday. <laughs> like everything was built out of like sheet metal, and it was just like it was like pirates. I don't think I could live, bro. Nah. But, I think we'll live a little bit. But I'd say five I'll, years. I wasn't even going to say longer than a year. Damn, really? Because I just we're going to have to fish every day for some food. I know. I'm going to be tired. No, nah, what I'm going to be scared of, because if there's mad water, that means there might be mad tsunamis. <laughs> oh, true. Because just imagine if there's but, a... Because well, like, imagine there's like a... If everything's like covered in water, imagine there's like a big storm out of sea, like a, like a hurricane or like a hurricane in the ocean. The tsunamis come. Well, if there's a storm, that thing is rising up. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, just, like, imagine, in the, you know, in the middle of the ocean when the waves be mad big and it's just like that? So, like, mm-hmm. imagine that's, like, just the world. Deed. Yeah, no. Nah. Deed. No, nah, I'm killing myself. If I see a tsunami, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just going to be like. That's I'm, my worst fear. That's the A tsunami and an airplane. I, I, oh, man, I feel bad for the people that, that was living during that tsunami that hit Japan, bro. I, I, I seen a. I seen a thing on TikTok about like the how big the waves are compared to tsunamis. That shit was that shit was taller than Empire State Building. Imagine just seeing that shit. So, do you think it's better to be in front of the tsunami or like in the back back? In the back back. I I, I was talking about this with Tony off topic, but like he was like so, so he's like if say there's a tsunami coming, it, if you had a sc- if you had scuba gear, would you be okay? That's what I'm saying. Because, like, if you're at the, well, I don't know how a tsunami works. Like, I've never even seen a video of it. Like, does the wave just keep, like, high? It's, like a, it's, just, it's a big wave. But it eventually crashes, right? Yeah. So, if I'm in the the front of the tsunami, mm-hmm. I'm gonna it's going to be the first to crash. Yeah. So, I'm going to be the first up. Uh, Supposedly, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I mean, it's. But just imagine all I, that water falling on you. And like the little um, like like what's that called? See, the, when you're in the the, the current. Oh yeah, the current is okay. gonna be the bad part. That that is the bad part. But also, if if the water breaks, say say the water, say you you get caught, but when the water's going up, you should be straight. Like you know, before the water crashes, the water like builds up. If you're there, then you might be good. That's what it, I'm saying. Like the front oh of it. oh okay maybe. But if that shit crashes on you, you're dead. <laughs> but I mean, if I'm in the front of it, it is gonna crash on me. Yeah, but like, say it's like, say it didn't crash it. Say it's just like moving like this, and then it goes up, and then like crashes. But the thing is, the current. Because if I'm in the front of it, I'm gonna still get the. Current. Oh no! As soon as it crashes, you're all getting pulled out to see. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But like I was, we were saying like, what if he was in like a building? I think I'll be straight. Maybe if I'm in a building, I'm going all the way to the top of the building. Hell no! I'm staying inside. Inside with my scuba gear in a tsunami, you know how the glass is gonna come towards you. Everything. I'm gonna be because if I have scuba gear and I'm in the front of the tsunami, I'm just going to the top, or I'm gonna just be like. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what if that shit knocks you off the roof? 
I mean, no, I'm. Mm. Like, if you get I that, mean, <laughs> that shit go, you gonna be flying. But there's some. I was watching that that what's that movie called? What the the one with the family that was on vacation? What the I don't I know you're talking about. I and forgot there was, what it was a called. tsunami. They were trying to get on the high levels. Yeah. Because usually the tsunami like doesn't reach those high levels sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh oh yeah I know I know what you mean. So like if the tsunami don't reach me I'm good. Hmm. I, I think I I'm. But but we're not surviving flooding right? Mm-hmm. Okay. How about the ice age? Hmm. That kind of has to do with water too, though. Yeah, but just imagine worse. Just imagine everything just cold. I think that's gonna be bad because it's gonna be hard finding food. But at and, the same, shel- and shelter, like I'm gonna be cold as hell. We can find shelter because, like, there's a band. There'll be abandoned buildings and stuff. Everything just might be frozen. It might just be really, really cold. Just hope. It's just the only hard part is gonna be finding food. Mm. I'm gonna survive just cause I'm a gangster I'm gonna say like a year A year? Maybe less You think you survive? Oh so you're not surviving I'm gonna survive a year Survive a year? <laughs> I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be I'm gangster Alright what if the world got Like say the sun scorched the world And it's just mad hot I'm <laughs> You're done I'm deed. You're not even gonna think about no. it No <laughs> I'm gonna be sleeping in the scorching hot Oh my gosh Take girl. me now Oh gosh That's Take the way Take me now <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be done too because finding water is going to be hard. You're going to be hallucinating. I'm not with all that. So I could probably survive the ice age actually because I like the cold. Mm. I like sleeping in the cold. You you think you could... Oh, wait. This is off topic. Can you, can you pass me my drink? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, bring both drinks. With these stupid behind. Save the turtle sauce. Ah, this shit busted. it. <laughs> I hope y'all heard that. All right. The the next one, or the last one is like, say it was like uh, the zombie apocalypse and everything just like, like there's no government, but everybody, every man for himself. I'm going to survive. But there's no zombies though, but it's just like every I'm man's. Gonna you going to survive? Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to survive too. No, ain't nobody. So basically we just got to be worried, be worried about other people that's going to try to kill us. Yeah. And the animals. But I think we'd be good. We can there find wasn't a group. A lot of animals in The Walking Dead. Yeah, we can. We can probably find a good group of people to help us out. I'm not trusting nobody. You're gonna oh. be the one to get killed. Why? You don't trust hella people. Because I don't want to be out there by myself. Oh. You with me? I know. <laughs> pack them up. I'll I, pack you up myself. Why? I want to be with other people. Your ass gonna trip and fall somewhere <laughs> <laughs> and hurt yourself. Jay's the most clumsiest person ever, girl. People. This girl hurt her finger. Putting the garbage away. Because they have the garbage in a cabinet. Mm hmm. And I had to pull the garbage out of the cabinet and I had to put it back in. This is a risk I had to take. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man. You think you think zombies are real? Mm. I don't think they're real now, but I think it's like they could make zombies. Oh, like eventually? Yeah. Ooh, cause like, cause I seen a video. I guess I think in in Europe, Europe, like in the UK, there's like three accounts of like people actually coming back alive from the dead. Like there was a, I think it was like a Haitian man. Yeah. <laughs> he, Wait, off topic. They're filming The Walking Dead in Newark. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh shit, that's tough. I saw it on TikTok. Oh my gosh, that's I was like, I'm about to go there. That's fine. You know what I mean? Play, you know how I many things have been filmed in Newark? A lot. Wasn't like Batman there? Batman, the Joker was there. Um, uh, the Sopranos was there. A lot of a lot of movies, like some clips, is in like Newark. I remember Tony said his son was in a scene. I forgot what movie. I think it was like a. I think it was like a the a Walking Dead show where like I think the church blew up and like you had to run away and he was in it. <laughs> I'll go there and ask. He's like, I could just be somebody who walks. I past. think I think they paid like seventy five dollars an hour. That's, oh, that's tough. Lit. Oh wait, so it's a new season or is it a new I actual think it's show? A new season. Oh, okay. Cause I didn't know any any other people that were there. Oh okay okay, so so supposedly, oh I got a burp. Oh wow, oh. keep that in there. Don't cut it oh, out. Oh shit, sorry people, sorry <laughs> my audio listeners. 
That's nice. Follow us on all podcasting platforms. But I um, got their attention. Oh yeah, it did. They was they was um I don't know what the they were asleep. They were asleep. <laughs> you woke them up. <laughs> but so supposedly in Europe, there's three accounts of people that died and came back to life. So there was a there was a Haitian man that died. I think he he was sick. And like they pronounced him dead, so they buried him in a cemetery. And then 18 years later, he showed up at a house saying that they buried him alive, and that he he got out, and they put him like into slavery. Like they made him like a like a Loki, like a slave. That's and he was up. that's what I'm saying. And then there's a there's a video in from China. I remember, I think Leonard somebody showed I think Leonard or Tony showed me, and it was like a morgue, and like the, you see you see like the dead bodies, but you see one dead one person like a like a the dead body like rise up and he's just getting out of bed mad slow i don't know if it's real i don't know what is what's going on people i don't know if this is but everything be happening in china bro everything that goes wrong they give us everything they give us every ooh, Chill, don't i don't say, say that. that cut it out <laughs> it's like like he was like moving funny like a zombie but then it got me thinking because there's an island there's an island that the u.s owns that they that they don't let it's a private island they don't put on maps or nothing and it only has monkeys on it monkeys yeah i think it's like testing monkeys mm. so it's like what if they had an island where they they say they made zombies and they don't want it to spread so they had a they have a private island they don't put on no maps and they have the zombies there like any of the diseases the zombies is there and like nobody could go there so it can't spread nowhere because like zombies can't swim they they'll find their way Ain't Eventually. no way. If you put a zombie on an island, well, I mean, how far are they from like a shore? Far, far. I, I don't know. I'm just saying there might be. Oh, like just imagine, just like in the middle of nowhere, just a random island. It's just it's, there's just mad. It's just like where they house all the diseases, like the zombies and stuff like that, so they don't leave. I don't think so. Yeah. I think I don't think there are zombies right now, but I think they could make. They definitely could make some zombies. So you don't think that they could have like private islands like that? I think they could have private islands of certain things like monkey testing like stuff like that but i don't know about zombies like what if they tested something what if they was they was testing like like you ever watched that movie called flatliners Mm -mm. it was it's a it's a movie about um like phd doctors that were trying to that were trying to see what the afterlife is so they would kill themselves on purpose and bring themselves back to life but then they kept doing it so much that they started like having hallucinations so like what if somebody was trying to test like the theory like how to bring people back to life and they actually brought somebody back to life but it was like really bad mm. like what if they tested or what if they like made a disease or something because like they were saying before that um what's it called that when the ice caps were melting it was letting out like a dis- letting out like because like you know in the in Antarctica, they have like frozen like organisms in there. Mm-hmm. So like supposedly there was like a there, there might be frozen organisms that could cause like like diseases like shit like zombies, and it was like melting from the ice and it was getting into like our water systems. So what if they prevent? What if it got into our water systems, but they prevented it and they just put it into the put them in an island so it's away from people. It that, could be possible. It could be, but I don't know if it is. I'm just saying. I'm just going out on a limb here. I might be stretching it, <laughs> but that's kind of tough. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't need zombies on this world right now. Hey, guys, if they if there is zombies on this world, just keep them on that little that little that shit little over, island that little shit over there, bro. But but all right. So what do I have? Oh, all right. So would you rather us fight Bigfoot with two kitchen knives each? Kitchen knife. Or the world has to fight against Godzilla. The world fighting against Godzilla. Why? You know how many people on this world? So compared to one Godzilla? Godzilla they did not kill Godzilla in the movies. You can't kill that thing. Yeah, but they didn't have all the people in the world. Who they have? I they, don't know who they had. I didn't want to. They watch tried. It. You can't nuke him. Cause you nuke him, he gets stronger. You literally We're gonna be climbing him. And Bruh, choke him to death. They literally they said if Godzilla were to pee in the oceans, that's equivalent to like a million gallons. It would be a million gallons of pee. So imagine that in the ocean. We dead. How, how tall is he? Godzilla is like the size of the of like the freaking Empire State Building. And we all together as human beings are probably bigger than him. What does that mean? We gonna stand on top of each other? Yeah, we about to find something. We ain't He ants. can't be all of us. You know how many people in this world compared to one Godzilla? There's billions of people in this world. 
And if we're on the same place fighting Godzilla, he just gonna he's just gonna black. That's just an easy kill for all no. of them. How? What so, are, Jay? What are we many? gonna do? What are we gonna do? We could get weapons. <laughs> like what? I don't know, but we could beat them. Seven billion people. Just because there's a lot of us, don't be. There's there's seven billion ants. <laughs> Mm, you fried me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you can- but actually, you didn't fry me. Seven billion billion ants. If they crawl on me, I might have a heart attack. You know how many? <laughs> <You're> not- <laughs> what the- they can't do nothing to me because they can't physically grab a weapon. But you think we? Can if cro- they're all seven billion ants on me, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna have a panic That's attack. That's you. Even You're if not- I'm <laughs> even if I'm going like this, there's still hella ants on me. Jay, we're not animals. We have we can't climb things. We can't climb Godzilla. I will climb him <laughs> and do what? He got he got um, he's like a gorilla. He got hair. No Godzilla. You never seen Godzilla? Before? No. Are you you lying? I'm not lying. <laughs> Godzilla's the one with the the lizard. Oh, I did watch Godzilla versus King Kong. Yeah, that's King- <laughs> you mixed up with King Kong. What the hell, Godzilla's Cut that in the- out. Hell no, they go fight. <laughs> Jay from the Jay from the hood people. Oh, Jay don't like unrealistic movies. You telling me humanity cannot kill that thing? He got little arms. He has like he he can breathe like he has like a nuclear bomb that comes out of his mouth. Oh, he does. Yes. Oh, sh- oh, he find us. Like they in the movies, they literally made a truce with him because they can't stop him. Like, like they're his friend. Like he, they, if, um, who won? Kong, King Kong. Kong got, got his ass whooped. He did. Yeah, but like they just they decided to team up because of the big robot came out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But they the, he made a truce. They made a truce with the humans that they're not gonna mess with him. But if he wanted to, he could like destroy all of them. <laughs> That, and what was the other option? Me and you find Bigfoot with two knives. Bigfoot? Yeah. With Big, two kitchen knives, though. The, the big ones. Yeah, Bigfoot not that big. That's what I'm saying. Compared to Godzilla. Godzilla, if Godzilla pee, we dead. Uh, Just imagine all that pee in the water, bro. That's pollution. <laughs> Come on, that's bro. That's nasty. Imagine that doo-doo. Nah, indeed. <laughs> if he didn't have that, that, that fire breath... I think, like literally, and if you shoot, if you drop a nuke on him, he gets he gets superpowers. He gets charged up because he's made. That's off. cheese. That's you know made him. The Japanese made him. Everything That's in Japan. Cheese. He's like an anime character. I'm telling you, there's no way. If Godzilla was alive today, he would rule the world. Yeah, we got we got Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, you didn't believe in us. You trying to say ants? I said what. the... <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, I might have a heart attack. If seven billion ants are on me, I know, but you're not Godzilla. What you mean? If we yeah, all, yeah, cli- I'm gonna die. If we all climb on Godzilla, he not gonna be phased. He's be like, he got little arms. He, he not gonna get all of us. He not gonna be like. It's not like it's not like we climbing on him and stabbing. We just like we can't even climb on him. How the hell are we gonna do that? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> man. I was about to say, what other shit I gotta talk about? Freaking um. All right, pick one group to protect you from the rest. So. So it's a group. You have to pick one, and they're gonna protect you from the rest of them. Mm-hmm. And there's no guns; it's just straight fists. All right. So it's twenty pro NFL players, fifteen pro MMA fighters, fifteen CIA agents, or seven Navy SEALs. Navy SEALs. But you think they could? You think all seven of them could protect you from? Wait, wait. Say that again. I didn't hear the numbers. I just heard the twenty the pro NFL players. Twenty. So 20 NFL players, 20, 20 MMA fighters, 20, okay, 15 CIA agents, or seven Navy SEALs. CIA. Oh, if there was more Navy SEALs, I'll definitely pick the Navy SEALs, but I'm going to either have to go with the MMA fighters or the... The agents? Or the agents. But I, I feel like agents... I feel like they're nothing. I, yeah. feel like they, I feel like they're not how they are in movies. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to go with the MMA fighters or the Navy SEALs. Uh, if there was guns, I would be Navy SEALs all the way. I think... But Navy SEALs are trained, like, good. I know. Like, to, to protect me, I think they could take down a couple people. Mm-hmm. 
I think they could take down. But are they trained to fight? Like Ooh, Navy SEALs? Like fight with their fists. Yeah. They they're hand to hand combat, all combat. Oh. That's why they they gotta be. They're the best that we got. So if they don't got guns, they going in there like Oh yeah, they got they, they got the hand. Like oh say like say they say we're in our crib and they're like pres- they're surrounding us. They're surrounding the crib to protect us. I think I'll take mm, the Navy SEALs. Yeah. I think I'll take the Navy SEALs. I think they could protect us from NFL players for sure. Because Navy SEALs are really smart. NFL players, they deep. Who the yeah, hell want them big the ass last, ones? My them last big choice. Ones, bro. They going to die first. The MMA fighters, just they could fight. But I think Navy SEALs could take them. Yeah. But 20 so. versus 7? How many? 15, like, 15 versus 7. Oh, 15? Yeah, 15 MMA fighters. Oh, okay. So Navy SEALs all the way. Navy SEALs? I mm-hmm. think I'm doing that one too. Like just because like not only they can fight but they're also smart so they can mm-hmm. like they do like traps and stuff, not like traps like as like booby traps but like they could like sneak up on people. Yeah, I think that's smart. I, can, I won't mess with those They use they they like pain too. Yeah, they trained. All right, so so now I got another question. So what would you rather for the rest of your life? Would you rather be hunted down by one person once a week, but you get to pick the day of the week, or be hunted down by thirty people? Once a year on a random Tuesday. So it's just that every week, but I get to pick it? Yeah. So say one person, one person one person could be hunting you down once a week and you can pick whatever what day. But if you pick the other one, it's you're gonna be hunted down by thirty people. And I don't know the thirty people. You don't it's a everybody's random. Damn. And it's once a year, but it's on a random Tuesday. And is it like that movie where I have to stay in no, nah, it's just whatever. I could go wherever yeah, I want. Yeah, you can go wherever you want. Mm. But like, you know, if you pick the year, you don't know what day it's going to be. It's just going to be a I Tuesday. Know. <laughs> nah, that's deed though. Because I could just be chilling on Tuesday. Pop, I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? You just got to... Ah. But look. But every day, nah, I mean, you know every what? week, it's I'm, crazy. That's what I'm saying. I might pick the year and just be prepared every Tuesday. <laughs> that's true though. I'll get ready. I'll be like, ah. But that's still being... That's still like... That's what I'm saying. I can't... Feeling like you're getting hunted down. I know. Because you're just trying to be prepared every Tuesday. And but, you're it's like scared. Once, but it's like once a um You're still having that adrenaline thinking you're getting hunted down. So I might as well just get hunted down. Oh, by one person? Yeah. Because <sighs> every Tuesday I'm going to have to be prepared anyway if it's a random Tuesday of the year. Ah. Uh, but what if that one, what if that's the first Tuesday and then you're good for the whole year? But what if it's not? <laughs> <laughs> but like, ah, that's 30 people too. Nah, I'm going to pick. But what, they're not—they're week. not really trained. They just be random dudes. Ah. Yeah, but I'm bro. not gonna know who it is. They could get close to me, like. I know. It I would could just be somebody I do be know. My freaking mom. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Crazy. But I still might pick the year though. Mm-hmm. And that Tuesday, I'm just gonna stay in the crib. Just stay. In You're my gonna room. stay in the crib that Tuesday. They could get into your house. Oh yeah, damn! I gotta be on the roof. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be outside somewhere. Nah, because uh, nah, I'm I'll gonna stay, figure out I'll a way. I'll stay on a helicopter. Nah. <gasps> what if it's a helicopter, man? That's what I'm saying. You just gonna. I'm gonna ride that. I'm gonna be the one driving the helicopter. They're freaking. They're just gonna crash. <laughs> no, I'm, all right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just drive around continuously as long as I can. And damn, I can't even stop. Nah, every I'm getting hunted down every Tuesday. Every, every day, day of the week. Every not every day. Every 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 every, every week. What's but whatever week? day I want. Which day would you pick? Mondays. <laughs> Damn, you're going to make Mondays even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Oh, I'm my make God. Make it Monday. No. But and that's... I'm going to learn how to fly a helicopter. And every Monday, I'm going to just be up on my helicopter all day. I can't fly a helicopter. R.I.P. Kobe, but I can't. Helicopter, plane, whatever. No, I got... I, there's a way. There's going to be... I, I can figure this out. A Tuesday. All right, look. Okay, look. If I stay in my room all day, I know who the person is, but they could just come to my crib. But my I could tell my mom to not let them in. But what if it's your mom or your sister or your dad? Then they hoes. <laughs> oh no. Nah. I think I'm gonna still take the year. I can't I can't, I can't keep getting hunted down on every Monday. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna be thinking you're getting hunted down. Every single Tuesday you wake up, you're gonna be like, dang, today could be the day. And that's still gonna be your on your mind all day. Like you're gonna be walking around scared as heck from getting killed. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just get. I'm gonna actually just get hunted, so I don't have to be scared and 
have anxiety like the whole day. Like how many how many weeks you think guy? How many weeks you think it'll last before he get you? <laughs> <laughs> only it's only one person, so I don't think I think I could last a, a minute. You think it'll last a minute? Yeah, I think it could last a while. All right, you know I think I think I'll take the once a week. Damn, that's t- that's ass though. But you uh, get to pick the day. I do it on Thursday. So wait, the day that you pick has to be every day, like that'll the same. Be, that'll be that day for the rest of your life. Oh, okay, Monday. <laughs> nah, I can't. I'm gonna make it like a Tuesday. <laughs> I need like a break. <laughs> I need. I need like Mm-mm. a double break. I need double preparation. Nah, you know what? I'm being the fuck. No, I, I'm gonna. Maybe I'll be in the army. No, I, I can't do that. I don't want to be in the army. Yeah, maybe. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll do. Once a week, dang! I really don't want to, bro. <laughs> like, I'm really trying my hardest to fight this, but okay, okay. Do I have any other questions before I go into the urban legends? I think I. <laughs> so tired. If y'all know Libby's, Libby's watching the cameras and she's dying right now. It's uh, it's about to be one o'clock in the morning. She's tired as hell. Sorry, Libby. I am we're, too. we're almost done. Um. All right. <laughs> All right, so you must get rid of one of these foods for the rest of your life, but in return you get a million dollars. A million dollars. So it's any kind of seafood, any kind of burgers, any kind of fries, or any form of Mexican food. So I get to pick one that I could get rid of. Yeah. Um, seafood, burgers, fries, fries, or Mexican food, or Mexican food like burritos, Chipotle. So any type of fries? Any type of fries. Waffle like fries, tater tots. fries, tater tots, and all that. Anything on the side is potatoes. Hash browns, that counts. That's a breakfast french fry. That was that was, that was a hitter. I ain't gonna lie, that hurt me. When I put that down. When I was writing that down, that hurt me, bro. I'm getting rid of all seafood. I ain't gonna lie. I am. I'm sorry. I know that hurts you. I know that hurts you. I can't. Seafood's out of the question. I'm not getting rid of that. I, I could live without eating crab legs for the rest of my life. <laughs> crab legs and shrimp. I could live. I can't. I'll probably do fries. Oh my gosh. Just imagine you can't eat nothing on the side. You gonna have you have no side. Mac dish. and cheese on the side. You don't have, no more McDonald's fries. No more waffle fries. No more curly fries. No more tater tots. No more oh. The hash browns from Waffle House. No more hash browns. Damn. I might do Mexican food. Oh, that nah. That means no more Dario's. Damn, nah, I can't. But I can't. Dario's could be any Spanish food. Nah, Man. Dario. That's just a, that says Tex Mex on the on the Tex Mex was Tex Mex. Like that's the like that's that that's what they call. He's it. Mexican. I don't know, but that's Mexican. Like burrito, any burrito, quesadilla, empanada. Not empanada, because that. Yeah. Burritos, quesadillas, tacos. I can live without that. Hell no, I can't live without Dario's. No, I can't. I can get the Dario's better get his empanadas back. Ew, why I say it like that? But he better get them back. No. And then I could get that. I can't. Mexican bro. food is only the like the burritos, tacos. Yo. But I mean, Puerto Ricans make tacos too. You just know you can't make no tacos, burritos. Nothing can't be like from a Mexican person. But can't be Mexican food. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you say empanadas. You even say in your accent. You can't expand your accent. <laughs> I've been stuttering all day. That's what you want to say. It? <laughs> I would end the podcast now. <laughs> He's mad now, guys. So what is it? Mexican food. Cause I could, st- I still eat my Spanish food. I barely eat Mexican food. I only eat Dario's, the quesadillas. You be trying to go around it. That's the same thing. How? Like P- what? Like Puerto what? Rican food and Mexican food. And oh, like are two different things. So you're not gonna eat burritos. I'm no not gonna Chipotle. eat burritos. Chipotle. Ch- but Chipotle is just rice, like regular rice that all Spanish people make. It's not only for Mexicans. I know it's not only for Mexicans, but I'm just saying like stuff like that, like Chipotle. There would be no more Chipotle. I could live without it. I can't live without seafood. I could low key live without burgers, but I'd rather burgers over Mexican food. All right. Okay. I can't live without Dario's. I can't. 
I could. You crazy. Dario's, I hope Dario hears this. Nah, his food is busting. But People, I'm sorry, I can't live without seafood. If you live in Newark, New Jersey, look up Dario's restaurant. It'll be the best food you ever tried in your life. Hear it from No Regular Podcast. Best food in your life is crazy. Huh? Best food in your One life. One of the best foods you ever tried in your life. <laughs> for the price it is. Mm-hmm. There you go. For the price it is, that thing costs like, it costs exactly how much Taco Bell is, but it's way better quality. I miss his empanadas though. I know. He said, I don't know what's going on. But last thing in the show, people, I got Urban Legends. And like I say before, comment in your state down below. I haven't done this in a while. I'm sorry, people. It's been a while. But like I said, comment in your state down below. And we'll look up some Urban Legends from your state. And today we have Washington. Shout out to the people of Washington. Washington State, not Washington, D.C. I actually got a lot of family in Washington. So this one, I've been wanting to do this for a while. It's called Mel's Hole, right? Mm -hmm. So the urban legend about this, it's a guy named Mel Waters who owned like property in Washington. And supposedly there was a big hole that people say it was like a sinkhole. And it's like a bottomless pit. So they would throw garbage and things down there. Like hella garbage, hella random things. And like one day he was just wondering like how deep it was. And he, he, I think, I forgot what he got. It was like those little things they use for construction to show like how deep something is. It said it went down like 80,000 feet. I don't know how it did that. But he said, he said one day, one day people came and I guess their dog died. So they threw the dog down into the hole. And the next day the dog was alive. What the, fuck? the dog was alive and it was walking down the street. And then I would have tried to throw myself down there. (laughs) (laughs) But what if it's only dead people that come back alive? I don't know. They said that thing is like bottomless. And then they said the government like seized the land from him and bought it from him. And like, and like, oh, and another thing is like the land was next to like an army base. So like they, the government bought that land that was next to the army base and they, they made like no trespassing. Nobody could go there ever again. And like the people of the town used to say they used to see beams coming out of the hole. And then one and then they say if you bring like, you know, a radio and like, you know, they have like the little random like channels. They say that if you bring it by the hole, it's gonna if you turn to a certain channel, it's gonna like show mo- like play music that came from like the nineteen twenties. Like it's like a time machine type shit. So the people who bought it were a part of the army? No, it was the government that bought it. Oh. So like the government bought it from him. And, like, seized the land and said it was something top secret and nobody could ever t- uh, go by it again. And then if you look up, and they say, like, they erased, like, his whole, like, name from the property. So, like, if you look him up, it will say, it'll say that he never owned that property. Damn. So, that's why it's an urban legend because they believe that, like, like if you search up Mel Waters, his name is nowhere near the property. And there was ne- there's no nothing that says there's a hole. That's why it's an urban legend. But people in the town say, like. That's what their aunt, that's what their like grandparents used to tell them that there was a hole. What the hell? That's scary. How can the hole just disappear though? Not like disappear. I mean, maybe they covered it up. How? Mm-hmm. You don't know what the government does. You never know. They control whatever we know, whatever we see. Maybe they put a building around that shit. Maybe they put a house mm-hmm. on it. Maybe they built a house on it and there's nothing in the house, but it's just the hole. The hole? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. What else do I got to talk about? I don't got nothing else to say. But like I said, people, if you got new urban legends, let us know in the comments, all that stuff. But um, what else I got to talk about? I don't got nothing else to talk about. You got anything you want to say? You got anything else you want to talk about? Mm-mm, not today. I didn't come prepared. He, she never comes prepared. I did last two times. What did you come prepared with? I didn't ask the question to Ritz. What for it? What question? I don't know. I thought like, oh no, it's because you put that question on the, on the list, and I was gonna ask it. What question? The um, what was it? It was the question you asked Fritz. It was one of the questions you asked Fritz. Oh, you never want to ask it anyways. I was going to, and then I saw it on the list, and I was like, oh, too late. <laughs> but thank you again people for tuning into another episode of no regs podcast episode number 52 one year of potting one year of podcast one year of content if you're new to the channel subscribe down below comment if you're new to the channel if you're new to us go cop some merch website should be up now store should be up now limited to limited supply only 
And like I said again, thank you all to whoever watches the show, whoever supports us. If you found us on TikTok today, if you've been with us from the beginning, I just want to say thank you for enjoying the content. Because, you know, the things we talk about on the show could be a re- could be really weird. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of the people that I put on the show is not your ordinary people. That's why. I guess that's why you guys like it. We a little weird in our own ways. Even you sometimes <laughs> talk about the freaking we can all kill Godzilla by climbing on him. <laughs> I think we can. <laughs> you nuts, bro. But but yeah, thank you guys again because without y'all, I don't think we would have made this far, you know. But a lot of new things coming in the future. A lot of new future drops for collections for the clothing. We might do something for the community. Looking to do a lot of things for giving back to the homeless people. Maybe do charity work, things like that with the members. If you want to see us in Newark. We'll see how that goes. I don't know how it's going to go. I always want to do that. I always want to do something with charity. Maybe I always want. I was thinking about doing like uh, the Make a Wish, but they don't. Let, they don't know us. <laughs> Not Make a Wish. But you know, some people like uh, what's that Children's Hospital? I forgot what it's called. Like I just want to go to the Children's Hospital to just just to go. Yeah, maybe not not because we. Famous, yeah, quote, just quote just, unquote, just you know that to play the um, play with the kids, you know, talk just to, to make my heart full. Yeah, that's all. That's always been one of my things. Like even when, like when I was in wanted to be in the NBA, that's what I wanted to do. Like that was the main, my main, not my main motivation, but it was like when I get to the NBA, I didn't want to be like all the NBA players where they just like spend their money around. I always wanted to like make a charity. Yeah, they spend their money for nothing. Mm-hmm. They don't help nobody. I know, except for some of them. <laughs> so. Like I said, thank you guys for a year of potting. It's just a this is just the beginning. Like I always said, only way is up. I remember when I first made this channel in June twenty uh, June twenty second. I wrote, "It's only up from here." And look where we at now. Shout out to y'all people. Thank y'all for enjoying us. Thank you, Jay, for all the help that you provided and stuff like that. And um, anything else you want to say? No, I'm proud of you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, we different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangster. I don't really go get it. I don't really go get it.